Behind me is the Geely Okavango Urban Plus, currently the largest and only 7-seater offering under Geely's local lineup. Let's check it out. As I've mentioned earlier, this is Geely's current largest offering. It's designed to look and feel like an SUV with the size and space of an MPV. It competes with the likes of the Toyota Innova and Honda BRV, and the Urban Plus is priced at 1,478,000 Philippine pesos. In front, the Geely Okavango Urban Plus is a more mature version of the other Geely models. Meron pa rin naman siyang expanding Cosmos grill, which is nicely integrated with the full LED headlights. And yung headlights na they call it adaptive matrix headlights which means meron siyang 10 LED bulbs 6 for the low beam and 4 for the high beam and they automatically open and close uh, to maximize visibility and para hindi ka makasilaw ng mga kasalubong mo and of course it has LED daytime running lights which surprisingly looks like na nakabukas siya even though na hindi because of the color and the shade that they used so which is very very nice and then you have LED fog lights and you have your camera here on top of the Geely logo. And overall, mukha talaga siyang seryoso sa buhay. It talks business. On the side, the Geely Okavango Urban Plus looks like an SUV but kahit niya yung MPV kasi it kind of looks a little low. So meron din siyang 18-inch two-tone alloy wheels wrapped in 225.55 Continental tires. And then you have your uh, power folding side mirrors with two LED strips right here and your side camera. And then you also have your 48 volt EMS badge on the side. Plus, meron kang functional roof rails na meron pang Geely lettering right here, which looks really, really nice. So, check naman natin yung likod. The Geely Okavango is rather simple dito sa likod niya, but meron pa rin siyang dating. Um, kaya lang, itong part na to, yung medyo blanco, para siya malaking slab. So, you know, parang may something missing. Pero maganda pa rin naman siya. You have your full LED taillights, and then meron kang garnish dito with the Geely lettering. Plus, meron kang Okavango na badge, and your Geely badge also right here. Na medyo ano lang, for me, redundant siya kasi you have this one na, so if I have this, I'll remove this one. And then you have LED fog lights and LED reverse lights. Then you also have your rear parking sensors and your reverse camera. Tapos yung tailgate niya, it's powered. And mabilis siya umakyat. It's also height adjustable. So, you can change the height to your uh, desire and then iseset mo lang siya by pressing this button and hintayin mo tumunog. And then yun, naka-automatic set na siya sa gusto mong height. Then inside, you have your tools here sa floor, sa baba niya, and then you have 257 liters of cargo capacity. Kapag nakukulangan ka, you can fold the third row seats and you'd get 1,200 liters of cargo capacity. So, ito siya. And then, kapag kulang pa rin to sa'yo, you can fold the second row seats and you'd get more than 2,000 liters of cargo capacity. So, talagang hindi ka magkukulang sa space. And then, let's check the inside. Once you're inside the Okavango, mapapansin mo na very symmetrical yung design niya plus very unique siya for me kasi hindi pa kami nakakita ng ganitong design sa ibang mga sasakyan. So, dito namin siya nakita at first and bagay siya sa interiors niya. And then, the materials, they're good. You have soft touch leather here with the light gray stitching and ito lang yung soft touch niya sa buo. The rest, hard touch plastic but okay naman yung quality. Like this one sa dashboard, it's a hard touch plastic but um, the quality is good, okay siya. Just like dito sa door, okay din. Tapos you have this big um, textured plastic accent here on top na medyo cheap lang siya tignan kasi sobrang laki niya para mas bagay siya as a small accent only. Pero okay naman na din. And what's unique about the design dito is that parang iba-iba siya ng levels. Ito yung pinaka mataas and then you have this one, you also have this. Tapos may storage ka pa dito na you can put ball pens, toothbrush, kung late ka na, diba? dito mo siya ilalagay. Ayun, basta may storage ka right here. And then you also have this silver pattern accent surrounding your AC vents and even dito sa door, tong door handle, and even dito sa kanyang center console which is very very nice. And hindi ko alam kung, napap, kung nakikita nyo dito sa kanyang door handle, itong design niya, it mirrors the design of the aircon vents on both sides. So yun, 
maganda yung mga combination ng kanyang mga materials inside. Next is the steering wheel. So, ang napansin ko na sa steering wheel niya is that medyo manipis siya. But, pag nakasanayan mo na, hindi mo na mapapansin. And, yung sa design niya, walang problema doon because they always make uh, nice steering wheels. And then, sa right, you have your uh, audio controls. Sa left, you have your cruise controls. And then, ito yung kanyang horn. Yan. And then, what's good is that tilt and telescopic siya. So, pwede mo siyang i-tilt and then you can adjust yung nearness siya sa'yo. But, ang napansin ko rin dito is that medyo kulang pa rin yung kanyang um, telescopic uh, function. So, merong medyo malayo pa rin siya. But, at least, meron na. Yung iba kasi wala. And then, you have a 12.3-inch fully digital instrument cluster na napaka HD and super nice yung graphics niya. It's easy to read, user-friendly. Plus, um, the colors, ang ganda-ganda ng colors when you change your driving modes. So, kudos to that. And then, ang next na napansin ko, na usually hindi namin pinapansin, is the rear view mirror. Kasi sa Geely, ang ganda ng pagkakagawa nila dito. Yung bezels niya or yung borders niya dito, sobrang nipis, very minimalist. So, talagang na-appreciate namin siya. It's very, very nice. And then, moving on, you have a 10.25-inch floating touchscreen infotainment system but wala siyang Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Meron lang siyang QD Link. So, uh, Geely, baka naman, no? Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then, it's uh, user-friendly. Madali lang siyang gamitin. Very responsive. May konting-konting-konting pagkalag lang siya. Napansin namin. But, that's fine. And then, yung sa kanyang uh, volume controls, usually, pag sa ganito, it's either isa swipe down mo lang yung taas or isa swipe mo to the left or to the right sa pinakadulo and then you'll see the controls. But, hindi namin siya mahanap dito. So, the only way na ina-adjust namin yung volume controls ng uh, music is through the steering wheel. So, kung sino sa inyo ang may alam kung saan siya mahanap, please comment down below. And then, here you can also open your 360 panoramic camera. So, ayan. You have your 2D view, you have your 3D view, and meron pang more uh, options dito na settings na which you can see like yung front, yung rear, even the sides, you can see them. Ayan. And very HD yung mga cameras ng Geely which is very, very nice. And then moving on, you have your dual zone automatic climate controls down here. So, mga toggle switches siya. And pag nag-control or pag kinontrol mo siya, dito siya lumalabas. And you can also control it here on your screen as well. So, ayan. And then, below, you have your two USB ports. And, yun, sa USB port niya, uh, medyo nagulat lang ako na when we tried using it, nag-charge kami ng two phones at the same time, yung isa, nakapag-charge, and then yung second one, parang sinasabi dito sa screen na it doesn't have enough power to charge the other phone. So, I don't know kung bakit ganun yung reason. Also, if alam nyo, you can comment down below. And then, ito nga, you have your storage and then you have your electronic gear shifter na we showed you many, many times na. And then, you have your um, electronic parking brake with auto hold function, your different driving modes which are eco, comfort, and sport. And then, when you adjust them, mag-iiba din yung um, graphics and yung color dito sa yung instrument cluster. And then, you have your uh, hill descent control button and you can also access your 360 camera here sa button na to aside from dito sa screen mo. And then, you have your stability control button and meron kang storage na perfect for your key. So, speaking of the key, ito yung susi mo. Ang ganda, di ba? Oh, look. Sobrang ganda niya. And mas uh, mabigat siya compared sa Ascara. Napansin namin. So, again, ito siya. Vlogger lang. And then, you have two cup holders and then, you have your center armrest with a decent size storage inside. So, check naman natin sa likod. So now we're here on the second row and we're gonna talk about the seats kasi I forgot to talk about it dun sa harap. Pero parehas lang naman sila. Maganda yung leather na ginamit. They have uh, light gray stitching. Plus, kung ano yung lambot dito, ganun din yung lambot niya dun sa front. And then may part siya na perforated and the seats are all nicely bolstered. So lahat to individual, even this one's two front seat, maganda yung pagkakabolster niya. So it's very comfortable to sit on. And then, for the space naman, you can see, ito yung legroom ko, even my foot room, ang laki. I can even put anything na gusto kong ilagay dito sa baba. So, talagang, you have decent space here on the second row. And I'm 5 feet and 5 inches. 
it has a very nice panoramic sunroof which adds light inside so mas malaki pa yung feeling mas airy pa mas maluwag and then you have two back pockets you have your aircon vents and o oh nga pala it's tri zone so you have your own controls dito sa likod so you can control your own temperature your fan aside from dun sa harap na dalawa and then you have two fast charging usb ports and then you have storage and back to the seats Diba usually 60-40 ang configuration ng mga seats Pero this one, ginawa nilang 33.33333 each So mas practical siya kasi you can choose kung anong configuration gusto mo Pwede mo siyang ibaba, this side or ito, any Yun nga lang, you will lose the center armrest But I think naman na hindi mo naman makukuha lahat ng good things in life So talagang may kapalit yan but it's a nice alternative naman Maganda naman yung feature na yun eh. So, check naman natin yung third row. To get to the third row, you just need to pull the lever here sa pinaka side ng seat. And then, push it forward. So, makaakit ka na. Malaki yung space para makaakit ka. And then, para mababa mo siya, you just need to push this forward naman yung lever niya. And then, maglo-lock in place na siya. So, when you're inside, the third row, talagang, um, even when the seat is pushed back, like this one, very decent pa rin naman siya, saktong-sakto siya. And then, you have enough leg room and foot room. Tapos, actually, dito sa gitna, ito talaga yung totoong leg room ko. So, ang laki pa rin ng space, hindi ka magkukulang sa space, you, you will not feel uncomfortable right here. And then, sa headroom, okay din, hindi siya ganun kababa. And then you have your own aircon vent, you have your storage on both sides, cup holders on both sides as well. And malawak yung space mo dito. Hindi kayo magsisiksikan dito sa third row. Ang napansin ko lang is that medyo flat yung seat niya and medyo mababa. Pero it's okay kasi comfortable naman siya. And then para makababa, ganun pa rin, you need to pull this or I mean push it. And then push the whole seat forward so magsaslide na siya. And then makalabas ka na. The Girio Cavango Urban Plus is powered by a 1.5 liter turbocharged petrol engine with 48 volt EMS or mild hybrid system. It produces 190 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque paired to a 7 speed wet dual clutch transmission. And yung engine niya it's the same with the Ascara and nagustuhan namin dun. So let's see kung paano siya magperform sa bigger car. So let's bring it out on a test drive. Safety features on the Geely Okavango Urban Plus are 6 airbags, ABS, EBD, stability control, rear parking sensors, 360 degree around view monitor, hill start assist, hill descent control, TPMS, and ISOFIX. Previously, I drove the Ascara and talagang nagustuhan ko yung driving niya, yung performance niya. And that's a five-seater, and dalawa lang kami nun. This time, the Okavango is a seven-seater, and apat yung kaming sumakay dito. So, I guess that's fair enough. And since they have the same engine, so the Okavango also has the same engine with the Ascara, kaya expect natin na somewhat yung performance nila is parehas pa rin na okay. And by okay, I meant really, really good. Kasi maganda yung sa Ascara. Since 7-seater tong Okavango, ang biggest doubt ng mga tao for sure is kung kakayanin ba niya kasi 1.5 liters lang ang kanyang engine. But, kahit na 1.5 lang siya, it's a, it has 190 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. Talagang ma-feel mo yung um, power niya and yung pull niya na kayang-kaya niya. Hindi siya hirap. So, ibig sabihin, maganda yung performance talaga nito. When driving sa highway, talagang uh, mafe-feel mo na it's really at home. Talagang walang hesitation. Kayang-kaya niyang uh, bumilis, mag-overtake. And hindi talaga siya hirap. So the Okavango has a 7-speed uh, wet dual clutch transmission. And kahit na dual clutch siya, unlike sa mga ibang vehicles na talagang very laggy, ito, halos wala. Super, super, super slight lag lang. And the shifting is very fast, very smooth. Talagang maganda yung pagkakagawa sa kanya. Unlike other Chinese cars, except for pickups, this one, hindi artificial yung feeling ng steering.
steering niya. So it feels a uh, very um, precise and ano siya, uh, marami siyang feels pa rin. So which is very very nice. Tapos perfect din siya for city driving pa rin. Kasi um, kahit yung size niya it's different from the Kure and the Ascara. This one kayang-kaya pa rin siya lumusot sa mga uh, tight uh, spaces or sa mga turns ganun sa city. The handling is pretty good um, kahit na parang MPV siya still okay yung handling niya. Wala ganong body roll, super super slight lang and then overall it drives well, maganda talaga yung handling. Even sa mga curves, okay na okay siya. Sobrang okay nung visibility, it's excellent kasi ang laki nung uh, windshield, ang laki ng everything. Ang only downside lang na napansin ko dito is itong sa baba nung A-pillar niya, medyo malapad siya, malaki. Uh, other than that, okay naman na lahat ng view mo. And then, since malaki nga lahat, parang kang nakasakay sa van, ganun yung feeling niya kasi everything's big. And perfect pa lalo kasi you have 360 cam, so mas... Um, may aid ka sa while you're driving, while you're parking, ganun, makikita mo lahat. Talagang, yung visibility, it's excellent. Yung ride quality na Okavango is pretty excellent as well kasi kahit na medyo bumpy yung daan ngayon, na-absorb nyo lang yung mga bumps pretty well. So, hindi mo gano'ng mararamdaman yun. Okay na okay siya. And then, um, pagdating naman sa road noise and sa wind noise, almost non-existent sila. And then, for the engine naman, engine noise, Halos wala din talagang super tahimik siya. You won't even notice na nakabukas yung engine. Engine talag. Engine, minsan. Overall, talagang maganda yung Okavango. Um, ako lang preference ko na hindi ko siya gaano type. Kasi mas gusto ko yung mas uh, younger looking and mas uh, lively na vehicle. Kasi this one, it's uh, medyo mature talaga siya. Pero pagdating sa performance, sa looks, kung hanap mo talaga is or uh, very formal and um, mature tignan. Talagang this one is perfect. Uh, wala kang marereklamo about this vehicle. Kasi excellent siya uh, in almost all aspects. For the fuel economy, sa highway na ako kami ng around 18 kilometers per liter, which is pretty good. Lalo na this one is a 7-seater. And then right now, we're averaging 11.2 kilometers per liter naman. Mix na siya ng city and ng highway. And okay na rin yun, thanks to sa mild hybrid system niya. By now, siguro alam niyo naman na the Okavango has uh, 48 volt EMS or the mild hybrid system. So meaning nun, um, yung system na yun, yung mild hybrid, nakatulong siya for the fuel economy and sa power na pinaproduce nung sasakyan. So yung sa mild hybrid system niya, nag, uh, meron siyang smart coasting and sa auto start stop. So what it does, kapag um, kunyari uh, umabot ka sa parameters na kailangan doon siya mag-activate and then tinutulungan niya yung engine mo to um, save on uh, fuel econ fuel and sa power so um, ito kahit anong speed talagang magto-turn off yung engine niya and ang kasalo na noon is the uh, battery or the mild hybrid system so nakakatulong talaga siya sa pag-save ng fuel very smooth din siya mag-turn off so, hinding-hindi mo siya mapapansin. Ganun siya kaganda. So, that's the Geely Okavango Urban Plus. All in all, it's a good package. And considering how good the Kure and Ascara are, it's no different. It's not perfect, pero hindi rin naman surprising kung bakit marami nito sa daan. Because marami siyang plus. Plus, yung dami na yun is a proof of acceptance in the market. Music